Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back with another Seven Days to Die mini tutorial uh, where I will show you how to craft and use some of the essential items from early in the game so that you can uh, thrive and survive. So let's get to it. All right, and today we're going to take a look at something you will need to craft very early in the game. So this is for you all just starting out in Seven Days to Die, and that is the campfire. Uh, this is something you will have crafted in the tutorial if you completed that, and it's something you're going to want to craft at every base that you build. Um, it's uh, pretty cheap, just five small stones. You don't need to unlock it. Uh, you don't need any tools right, to gather these. You can just pick small stones up off the ground. And uh, this is going to allow you to cook food uh, and get clean water, so it's pretty important, uh, as well as a couple of other recipes. Um, so you're just going to craft it and equip it and then right click the place that where you like. Uh, and that's, you know, pretty much it as far as crafting it. You will find it uh, throughout the wasteland. Uh, there are some different campsites that, uh, that have it as well as some abandoned buildings. And I think some of the traders do have them that you can use. And uh, if you uh, press E to open this up, and you'll, you'll see an interface that will become pretty familiar to you. Um, for anything that allows you to craft something. You'll have all your recipes on the left-hand side. And for the campfire, this is broken down into food, drinks, which includes some teas that are pretty helpful, as well as some uh, grandpa's special um, uh, concoctions that give you different buffs, and then some chemicals. Um, mostly these two antibiotics, and then these two that you're used in crafting other, other items. And... Uh, then you'll see your, uh, you know, if you have a recipe selected, it'll show you what the recipe requirements are. You have your inventory, so you can take a look at what you have versus uh, what is needed. Um, there's these cooking instrument, uh, cooking implements, these tools that that uh, some of these recipes require. And it, yeah, I'll have to show you this in an, the more advanced game in a second. But these are things that you can either craft with a forge. Um, or you can loot in the wasteland, these two here. Uh, and then this, the, the beaker can only be found or bought. Um, so uh, it's pretty hard to come across these in my experience. When you find one, you want to hang on to it. Uh, you'll need it for a, a couple of other things as well. And then fuel, uh, which you, you obviously need to cook anything. So we don't have a lot of recipes unro unlocked at this point. And the only thing I've got... Um, the resources for are the boiled water. So I've got 28 murky water here. And uh, what you'll do is if you want to craft uh, this item, so you'll select the recipe that you want to craft, sorry. And then you will use these uh, to put in the number that you want to go ahead and uh, cook up. And I'll show you what the cooking time is. You can also just type right in here. Uh, and you'll see that cook, cook is not enabled because we don't have any fuel yet. Once you do have everything needed, and that includes having fuel, and if it's required for the recipe, one of you know one or more of these tools, you'll see that it'll light up here. And uh, what I'm going to do is we'll just do just so I can show you what the queue looks like. As you um, as you start cooking different recipes or boiling water in this case. Each item that you put here will go into this cook queue, and you can only have four different uh, items in the cook queue at, at one time, right? So this wouldn't be pretty particularly efficient if we we're trying to cook a bunch of different things. We would want actually to just combine these into 10, and they'd all sit in one slot. Um, and then as it's progressing, this will count down, and when one is ready, they'll start to go into the output here. And there's only so many of each type uh, that can fit in into each one of these squares. So for water, for example, boiled water or any tea or coffee, you can only have 10 and it'll start to fill the next one. And if you've got all three of these filled, you'll still still burn through your fuel, but the cook queue will stop. So you want to monitor that and pull those out of there. Uh, let's see. So while that's cooking, uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you, you'll notice that num a number of those recipes were locked. So uh, obviously you can find the blueprints um, you know, through looting, but you can also invest in a perk called Master Chef, which is under strength. Uh, doesn't make sense to me, but there it is. 
And each level, there's five levels that you can invest in here. So you can see this would cost me one point and it would unlock a couple of additional recipes and allow me to cook a little faster. And with each level, you, you either get uh, some combination of additional recipes, cooking faster. Level four here, you actually use 20 less uh, ingredients. Um, and, uh, you know, they get progressively more expensive as you go uh, through this. But they're well worth investing in at least a couple, couple levels here. So let's check on our water. You can see that that's just progressing along. Uh, you know, cooking a lot of food can be pretty slow. So... You know, investing in the Master Chef perk to make it go faster is pretty helpful. Um, but let's take a look at a game that's a little further along, and I can show you uh, how some of those cooking uh, tools work. All right, and here you can see this game. I am in day 29, and if we open up our campfire here, you can see that there are a lot of uh, unlocked recipes that I've got, uh, and I've also got the tools. So. There are three of them. Uh, like I said, we've got the cooking pot. This one you'll find quite a few of them. You'll just place that there. Uh, and if you don't have it, say, uh, let's see. So this says cooking pot required for bacon and eggs. So you can see there, if you don't have that, you won't be able to cook that recipe even if you have the ingredients. Same thing with our grilled meat. Uh, you need a cooking grill required, right? So you need that once you have it then uh, you can go ahead and cook your grilled meat. Um, and same thing with the beaker. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I've got anything that requires the beaker. Oh, the grain alcohol. So again, same, same thing. Um, and uh, the cooking pot and the cooking grill, you can uh, craft those here at a forge. And uh, if you're if you're unfamiliar with the forge, I do have a, a forge tutorial that I'll link to here. Uh, in the forge, you can craft the cooking pot and the cooking grill. So if you don't have them, uh, you can just craft them with, with your forge here. But really, they're pretty easy to find. And if you just hang on to them when you're looting, you should accumulate plenty of these. Like I said earlier, the beaker is pretty hard to come by. Um, you know, so that uh, is something worth holding on to. And then same thing here. Um, you know, you have three different uh, spots where you can put fuel. You can either have different types of fuel, which is one reason. Or if you've already got something cooking and you want to add some more fuel, you can't put it in the first slot. So you can put it here in the second. Uh, and then you're just going to pick, you know, whatever it is you want to cook. You can see what the ingredients involved are. Uh, I think we'll do some steak and potatoes. That's actually pretty good. And then you'll see, you know, some of these recipes uh, can, they can take a while to cook that many, right? So we may only want to do five, for example, in this case. Now, if I grab some uh, water and let's just grab, we'll grab some chrysanthemum and maybe a coffee. I'll show you how to make those as well. Again, once you've unlocked more recipes, you can do things like, uh, you know, once you've got water, Clean water is uh, required for lots of things. Uh, we can actually create some vegetable stew. So you've got your list of recipes there. Uh, and then coffee, it's just one to one. One coffee bean, one, one water. Same thing with the red tea, which I find to be uh, pretty, uh, pretty great to carry around. Uh, it gives you lots of uh, hydration as well as um, stamina boosts. So I like to have plenty of that instead of just water. And that's pretty much it. You'll just let these cook up. Um, if you need to turn this off, say you're going to go out, uh, do a little looting, these stay right here. They don't go bad or anything like that. You don't lose anything. And then when you come back and turn it on, um, they'll pick right back up. Uh, or you can just let it run. The only risk there is that if uh, you're not back in time and you're done cooking, it'll just keep burning through fuel. The other thing to be aware of uh, with the... Uh, with the campfire is it does generate what's called heat in the game so it creates a heat map that will draw um, zombies to it but uh, you know if you are just cooking what you need each day uh, it shouldn't be too bad uh, at some point or another when you've got a bunch of things running like you know multiple forges multiple campfires a chemistry station there's just no getting around uh, having zombies drawn to that and you're just going to need to be able to defend yourself so uh, that's pretty much it for the campfire. Um, I hope 
that you got something out of it. If you did, please give a like for the video. If you want to be notified of more videos like this uh, as, you, as they drop, uh, consider subscribing and uh, that definitely helps the channel out. It's greatly appreciated. And uh, as always, really appreciate you all uh, watching this and uh, showing the channel support. See you back here soon.